This is probably the most common question we get. And the truth is, even in the best circumstances, when we think the child has an epilepsy that remits with age, you can never be 100% because there are always outliers that just don't follow the rules in the textbook. There are certain epilepsy syndromes that occur in early childhood, such as childhood absence epilepsy, benign Rolandic epilepsy, and Paniotopolis syndrome, which typically go away by early adolescence. Likewise, some neonatal epilepsy, such as benign familial neonatal epilepsy, are also likely to remit. Some epilepsies, we can say, more than likely won't remit with age. And these are syndromes such as juvenile myoclonic epilepsy or juvenile absence epilepsy, syndromes where seizure control is likely, but in most cases, the seizures return if the medications are weaned. Patient characteristics can predict a higher likelihood of seizure remission in children, and they include things like early control of seizures with medications at low doses, normal EEG and MRI results, normal development prior to the onset of seizures, and the ability to remain seizure-free on medications for more than two years. At the same time, patients that fail multiple medications have underlying abnormalities on the MRI, such as brain malformations or injuries, and patients with genetic conditions associated with epilepsy may be less likely to remit with age. It's important to understand that prognosis in epilepsy can often be difficult to predict, and in many cases, only time will tell whether the seizures disappear.